Hey guys, it's Evan, and today I wanna to share with you a website that I love using. It's free, it saves me a lot of time and frustration and headache, and I don't think I've talked about it before. So it's called Saluto, and it's saluto.com, and what it allows you to do is manage your own computers as well as other people who you have to support in your network. So. For me, I've lined up uh, my own computer. So I use an HP at the office. I have a Mac at home. I have another Sony at home that I haven't used apparently for two months. So thank you for telling me that. And in the past, I've also had my mom on here. I've had my dad on here. So you can manage other people's computers as well if you're the most technology savvy person uh, in your family or in your business. I think you can manage up to five computers at once for free, which is what I'm on, until uh, you can then ex expand to a paid program. Why is this so cool? So let me show you what I use it for. I'll click on my computer now. So this is what I'm using right now. And basically what it does, it tells you everything you need to know about your computer. So you can see that, uh, well, it's old. So usually I don't go more than two years without a new computer. So this one's lasting me, maybe thanks to, uh, to Saluto. So this is okay. Like the stuff it tells you about your computer is okay. You know, it tells me my RAM, CPU, all that fun stuff, how much space I have, if it's fragmented or not, you know, how much space is free, blah, 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 okay. This part is pretty cool, where it can tell me you what apps you have, what programs you have that are out of date, that need to be updated, that there are versions available. So I have WinRAR, Audacity, VLC, Java, and SkyDrive that are all out of date. And I can just click Update All, and it'll update them all automatically on my computer for me. So I can click Update All, and then it's gonna go and automatically update everything for me, which is great. I don't have to worry about if I have software that's out of date anymore. Lower down, this is what I loved it for. This is the gold behind Saluto, in my mind at least. What it does is it helps you understand when you load your computer, I don't know if you have this problem, I had it a lot before Saluto. I loaded my computer and it loaded all sorts of apps in the background, all sorts of programs in the background that I didn't need, I didn't want. You know, when you buy a new computer, it comes installed with all sorts of software that you're never gonna need and you don't know what it is and you're afraid to remove it because you don't know what it does on your computer. Unless you're super tech savvy, which I'm not. It takes up space, it takes up you know memory, it slows down your computer, so how do you know what to get rid of? So this is where Saluto comes in handy. So my boot sequence uh, will run 53 background apps. So before my computer is fully loaded, it has to load 53 different things and it takes me three and a half minutes for my computer to load up. So that actually is pretty long. Maybe I need to look now at that new computer. But it's gonna tell me what I can potentially remove. Now this is zero uh, that, it, that I should remove, what I can potentially remove, what are required apps and I can't remove, and what I have removed. So I have removed 28 programs from my computer, thanks to Saluto, that, that cost my computer three minutes of boot time. So I've cut my boot time in half. I thought three and a half minutes was long. It would be even longer if I didn't cut these programs. So what it does is show you a list of the things. So for example, Google Chrome wanted to load automatically. And that adds a full minute, a minute of boot time. So with each program, what it'll do is you can click on it and it'll show you what it is. It gives you an explanation and it gives you options. You can either delay it, you can, uh, which means it'll load after your boot time. So it'll, it'll boot up, let you run your computer and then it'll load. You can have it in the boot or you can pause it. So it won't load unless you click it to load. So Chrome, for example, why do I need Chrome to load automatically? I'll load Chrome when I wanna load a web browser. I don't need it to load, running in the background, taking up my memory and taking up my boot time at the beginning. The great thing about it too here is it also shows you what other people are doing. So I pick this option, which is pause it. So that's a third of the people, 11% just delay it, and 56% of people actually have it in their boot. I don't know why you need it in your boot. Windows Media Player, QuickTime, Google Update, all these things you know that you may not understand what they do, like this one, what the heck is QuickShare EXE? You know, I don't know, but you can see most people have it in their boot or they just removed it. So you can kind of get a sense of what the community is doing with it. So it's helped me take out three minutes of my boot time. So let's look at these ones. Now this isn't that important anymore, right? There's eight things that I could potentially remove. It's only 15 seconds of my boot time. So I can load it up. Now some of the smaller ones, uh, they may not have a description available, right? So like raw link 802.11 and wireless LAN, what the heck is that? I mean, it connects to the internet somehow. Do I need that? I don't know. Description not available. Most people keep it in their boot. 
So I'm probably going to do that because I don't want to do something that's going to harm my computer. Windows Live, a suite of free applications that bundle email, instant messaging, photo sharing, blogging, security devices, and other Windows Live programs. So recommendation, if you use bundled Windows Live programs, keep it in boot if you don't remove it. So I don't use Windows Live, so I can remove it from boot and save myself 5.7 seconds. There you go. So it tells you for each one, I'm going to go through these other ones, but it doesn't take a lot of time for these, so it's not a huge deal for me right now. So that's why I love using Saluto. So you can do this for yourself, for your own computer. You can manage your other computers. You can, again, make your boot time a lot shorter, but also make sure that your, your programs are all up to date. And if you are managing more than one computer, if it's for yourself or for other people, right? If you're managing your parents' computers or somebody in your business, then you could do it through Saluto here. This is all free. Again, I think it's up to five computers. They do have a remote access feature too, which you do have to pay for, which I haven't used, so I can't say if it's good or not. But basically, if I'm running my computer uh, and then I'm running my dad's computer and he's having a problem with it, doesn't know how to fix it, I could just click here, go remote access, connect to his computer and fix whatever I need to do. Anyway, uh, great program, love using it, awesome website, pretty simple interface, intuitive, easy to use, saves me a lot of time, saves me a lot of frustration. I recommend checking it out. I have no connection to the company apart from being a user and I love it and I think you should check it out. So enjoy. For those of you watching and like the video, please give it a thumbs up below. Let me know what you think. Do you, if you like this video, you have something to say, leave it below. You have a question for me about Saluto or another website or about your business, leave it in the comments. I'll make a video reply. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you soon.